what's present first is to deeply remember yourself and to take root in that because that is immovable. And when you continue to take root in that which is true and immovable, then the outer world is much easier to navigate. And so even if you're not in states of a recognition of oneness, in the midst of the chaos, which can be a tall order to ask of oneself, you can root in the depth of your being and feel that immovability, feel that infiniteness. And the, that's where the safety lies, is in your wholeness because wholeness can't be broken. So resting in that depth of oneself, you can feel the immovable truth, the steadfast, the steady steadfastness. So in the way you know yourself now and knew yourself as a 20-year-old and as a teenager and as a child, that steadfastness, even though your body is completely different, your environment is completely different, the people around you are completely different, you can feel that steadfastness. So that's the first thing that, that comes forward. The second thing coming forward is, is love and loving and is a big part of what we've been speaking about today. And resting in that infiniteness of love, then you respond to yourself and each moment and everyone and everything in your moment as love. And this changes things. And this completely changes things. And so our relationship to then what's happening is different. And when we're more connected with that, which is steadfast and loving, we're less likely to get triggered in a panic, fright or flight, autonomic nervous system response which engages certain parts of the brain which can make it harder to access the depth of the truth of yourself. So the more you practice staying steady, the more you can then stay steady when the world is in turmoil and not get swept up in the chaos of the turmoil. 